To transform myself into Red School, I had to chop off my nose, my ears, and have subdermal implants. were the most impactful. The next day, I woke up and went to the bathroom to wash myself. And when I washed my face and looked up in the mirror, it really struck me, you know? It was like, wow, brutal. After that, we inserted these subdermal implants in my forehead and from that point on, the project really started to take life. And that's when we decided to do the, the character of Red Skull. I want to get as far as I can go. I think the day I stop will be the day I die. I'll give up my name and give up my legacy. There might be many who come after me, but I'm the first person in the world to achieve what I've achieved. You know what I mean? And today, I am proud to be recognized as one of the only human beings to have successfully embodied the cartoon character. I have an excellent relationship with my son. He sees me as a superhero, as a super dad because of things beyond my control. We have been separated from each other for about a year and a half, two years now. But now, very soon, we'll be back together. At the moment, thank God, I've got him in Colombia. He is with his mother. He is super happy. I talk to him every day by video call. He's a kid who, until now, loves me, cares about me and respects me. I'm from Maracay, from a very poor neighborhood. For me, Venezuela is the best you can get in the world. Right now, my country is going through a bad time. But at some point, we can get out of this anarchistic dictatorship, and I can go back to my country to contribute to bringing it back to its former glory. I wouldn't even think twice about it. If they fix my country, no matter where I am, whatever part of the world at that moment, I'll go straight back. I really miss it. My mother died when I was very young when I was roughly 15 or 16 years old. It was an impact, social and visual for all my family, when they saw me like this for the first time. But of course, I've always had this obsession with tattooing since I was very young. There are members of my family who support me and others who are against it. I've known him for a while. This is my business. He has breakfast here, lunch, you know. That's how I know him. And from that, we became friends. Well, I've never seen someone that looked like that before. So yeah, it did surprise me. But you know, nothing more. Lots of people have tattoos and things like that. Maybe I had never seen someone who looked quite like him. So yeah, I suppose I was a bit surprised. But now, you know, I'm used to it. He's polite and he knows how to treat people properly. 
a good person. I consider him a good man. Este, mira. Look, he's like, I don't believe that my modifications make me any more or less able to interact with people every day. Actually, I believe what I am doing with my body is not so that other people can understand me, but rather so I can understand other people, is to demonstrate to people that we can't judge by appearances. If your whole life you have thought that the devil is red with horns and a tail, then dude, I admire you, because that's what a five-year-old thinks.